What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Cookies and Crypto. I hope you all are having a great 4th of July weekend. Um, all right, this video is going to be about how to connect your hardware wallet up with MetaMask. Um, the Pulse Chain airdrop, biggest airdrop ever, is coming soon. And uh, for me, it's not a bad idea to step up the security and... Um, add a hardware wallet into the mix while we're using MetaMask. So um, I'm going to show you how I do that. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the Hex chart. Um, yeah, Hex is looking like it uh, bounced today. Um, Richard Hart did a live stream and said basically everything is um, with the sacrifice that it, um, software has been coded and they're just doing some testing and they're about to do a public test net soon and um for pulse and basically the sacrifice could start anytime soon it's going to happen soon um probably won't happen on the 4th of july um but it could very well happen on the day after the 4th of july so um that was just based on something he said on his previous live stream uh which if you're you know you want to go find the sound bite in here you can um but yeah so one thing too about the sacrifice is um if you look at previous sacrifice models just look at ethereum you know we'll just look at that for the sake of this video um one ethereum or sorry one bitcoin could have gotten you 2000 ethereum back when ethereum was basically getting launched so we're looking at cryptocurrency hex which is outperforming just about any cryptocurrency right now and you know we got the the genius richard hart behind the project um you know making everybody rich um without any expectation of the profit from the work of others so it's really a beautiful thing what's happening over here um but anyway let's get back on topic one thing i also want to touch on you guys is the scammers are out um there is a fake e pls token on ethereum right now um it's labeled pulsechain.com um stay away from this you guys it's very dangerous only follow um what you get off the pulse chain uh, dot com website the telegram um, as well as Richard Hart directly in terms of when um, Pulse is launched. Um, this is a scam um, and it has um, accumulated a daily volume of $1.16 million. So that's a lot of people getting scammed. Um, as you can see, 100% of these are buy orders on, um, on this fake scam token and these are for some pretty large buys 1.1 eth lots of eth going into this and not coming out as you can see there are no cells that's because this is a scam token and the scammers um, don't allow you to sell the token after buying it which is why you see this big giant green candle uh, because no selling has taken place only the amount of people falling for the scam is starting to go down which is why you start to see this flat line um, so I just wanted to warn you to stay away from this, um, be very careful about which sources you use to, um, stay informed on when Pulse Chain is going to launch. And yeah, I just want to say, watch out you guys. So I want to show you how to do this. This will be good because when we try to sacrifice our crypto, um basically want we want to just be as secure as possible so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your metamask click the upper right icon over here and you're going to hit connect the hardware wallet when you click connect the hardware wallet you're going to have the option to select between ledger and trezor for this video we're going to be using ledger and you're going to want to plug in the ledger wallet okay so that means connect your usb to your ledger device and you're going to go ahead and open your Ledger Live app and hit continue. 
okay? Um, so once you have those things open, you're also going to want to be somewhat set up within Ledger so that you already have um, the Ethereum app and you already have an Ethereum account. Okay, so if we go over to Ledger, um, I'm inside Ledger Live right now, and we have um, we have our Ethereum account set up. So the cool thing about having an Ethereum address is that for most of the layer two solutions on Ethereum, um, all of the same Ethereum addresses should work. So if your Ethereum address is what it is on Ethereum, so basically you can just modify your RPC, right, within MetaMask. So that was um, up here, and you'll be able to add pulse chains. So basically you'll have the same... Uh, Ethereum address just on Pulse Chain, and that's the way I understand it right now. Um, and yeah, so so that's how you're gonna start. So basically, you're gonna want to have MetaMask open. You're gonna hit connect your hardware wallet to your ledger, right? And what that's gonna do is once you complete that, you're gonna see a drop down. So if we hit Let's see, for example, we'll hit continue. So there we go, guys. Um, the process is for that. Um, what you're going to want to do is first go into the Ethereum app directly on the ledger itself. Have that open along with Ledger Live. And you'll get a list of Ethereum addresses um, connected to the account that you want to use within MetaMask, for example. So I have within Ledger, just within one account, for example, there's multiple wallet addresses that I can use. And if I wanted to add to them, I would simply come over here and check, for example, and unlock it. And what that will do is once I hit unlock, we'll go over to MetaMask, and you'll see that the new wallet that you create is going to have um, a little extra icon next to the account where it says it's a hardware connected wallet. So I'll go ahead and select that, for example. And this address has um, some ETH on it, right? So what we can do is just for example, I'm just going to pretend to send this to myself, okay? And let's see how this works in terms of security. Um, we'll just pretend that we're going to send 0 0.02 ETH. So that's about $4 at today's prices. And uh, let's take a look. Wow, our gas fee is only $0.28. Cents. Ethereum must be cheap right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. Now, normally, if you didn't have a hardware wallet connected to MetaMask, this transaction would run all the way through. But I want you to pay attention to what happens when I hit confirm. All right, so now it's going to say it's making sure it's me. So now that I still have the app open on the ledger, I see a button that says review transaction. So now I can see the amount on the ledger itself uh, validates that it is indeed 0 0.002 ETH. And I can see the address associated with it um, with the amount of fees. I can either accept and uh, send it or reject it altogether, which I will do. I'm going to reject that transaction because of the sake of this video, um, but that's how you do it, you guys. So to recap, um, you're going to want to have Ledger Live open. You're going to want to have an Ethereum ERC-20 account within your Ledger um, already set up, and you're going to want to have that open on Ledger Live, open up your Ledger, go into Ethereum, the Ethereum app, have that open, and then go ahead and go to MetaMask when it's time. Go to the right upper right, and you hit um, connect to a hardware wallet. You go through the prompts that we went through. I'll go ahead and hit cancel here. Um, but that's how you would do it. You would go over to, um, I'll just show you one more quick time. Um, as you can see, my 
mine is already working. Um, but it gives you the choice to do ledger or uh, treasure. And basically, you just have to have it all open already. So now, why is this advantageous? Um, let's just go over security briefly. Um, adding a hardware wallet adds an external factor, an offline factor to all transactions that you'll do within MetaMask. So this does add a layer of security. Um, in addition to that, most hardware wallets have 24 word seed phrases, so they're a little bit harder to encrypt. Um, when I say a little bit, I'm talking by um, an exponential factor in terms of hacking. Um, so you will be, now this is a question I had that I resolved, is that just because you see this account within MetaMask, this MetaMask won't be tied to your MetaMask seed phrase wallet. This, meta, uh, this address you see here will be tied to the seed phrase of the ledger. So it's still property of the ledger. However, you can use the ledger balance to interact on MetaMask. All right. So I hope you found that useful. And I hope you are paying attention to what's going on over here uh, with the Pulse Chain airdrop. Um, I think that's going to be big. Hex is looking very strong, and um, we're hoping for a nice bounce when the sacrifice phase happens, and maybe we can get some greater USD value um, if we do a Hex sacrifice, so um, that would be nice. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, maybe you can call me a genius. Um, for figuring this out, but just one thing I don't want you to call me is your financial or investment advisor um, That's not what I am um, these videos are for information and education and Just Entertainment purposes only so I hope you found it useful. Happy 4th of July everybody and peace out